Disruptor, Game Changer, Innovator. These words are synonymous with Elon Musk. What else should you call the man who created PayPal, SpaceX, and Tesla? Today, SpaceX's Starlink may look to be an outstanding satellite internet provider with a simple but admirable objective. But as we've come to expect from Elon Musk, there's considerably more potential than what's been shown thus far. While Starlink, SpaceX's private sector satellite constellation, is currently in beta mode, serving internet wirelessly to 17 countries around the world, there is a lot more that Starlink can do, including GPS navigation and high-speed internet tests, as well as speculations of global cellular services communication capabilities, environmental data collection interconnectivity, and more. There's still a lot of extravagant potential in Starlink, so here's how it can do more than simply being a satellite internet. Let's start with the most recent confirmed capability, which is GPS navigation. While you probably all know what GPS is, there's a little more to it than most people realize. The Global Positioning System (GPS), formerly known as Navstar GPS, is a satellite-based radio navigation system owned by the United States Space Force. In 1978, the first prototype spacecraft was launched, and in 1993, the entire constellation of 24 satellites became operational. Because GPS is so widely used for geolocation, this $12 billion collection of 31 active satellites now has a $750 million running cost to give precise precision and timing data. While there has been a back and forth in technical prowess alongside competing programs over the years, GPS continues to pull ahead. While that might come to an end this decade, or even within a few years, and this is due to the increase in the global accuracy from 5 meters to just 30 centimeters. According to a recent research report, SpaceX's Starlink satellites might be utilized for navigation and global location in addition to their main function of broadband internet. Engineers outside of SpaceX discovered a technique to exploit the Starlink constellation signals for navigation, similar to what GPS can do. The team used six Starlink satellite signals to pinpoint a location on Earth with an accuracy of less than 27 feet. This is comparable to the GPS capabilities of a smartphone, which can pinpoint your location on Earth to within 16 feet depending on the conditions. Despite the fact that Starlink was not built for navigation, they demonstrated that components of the system may learn well enough to be used for navigating. Although the group eavesdropped on signals using less than 0.4 of the active satellites, and these satellites aren't designed for navigation, this study is an excellent sign for the future of Starlink, even if it involves researchers tapping into private signals, which could be a security issue. But remember that even though that group snitched on signals using a small number of the active satellites, and satellites not really designed for navigation, they've managed to pull off something that's already quite impressive. Furthermore, because Starlink is owned by SpaceX, there will be no bureaucratic red tape, public warnings, or government oversight. Because SpaceX is a private company, it can keep its movements private, preventing most GPS assaults and spoofs. And because the satellites are in low Earth orbit, we can utilize the Starlink satellites for GPS. Coincidentally, SpaceX has launched multiple GPS satellites for the U.S. Space Force in recent years. But Elon Musk has so far offered no comment about this new study. So, in addition to GPS, Starlink can leverage its ability way beyond what we can imagine, thanks to its infrastructure. Starlink has the potential to provide secure worldwide satellite communication. Private companies like Iridium and Globalstar operate their satellite constellations. Although GPS is worldwide, it does not provide much in the way of communication or data transfer. Iridium is the ideal in terms of worldwide coverage, since it is the only network that offers services in over 100 countries. However, Iridium satellites can go out of range in a matter of minutes. Starlink, on the other hand, is well suited to accurate position monitoring, high-speed data transfer, and a near-global range. Obviously, with plans to launch tens of thousands of satellites into orbit, having a satellite overhead at all times of the day will not be difficult. However, the tough part would appear in the data transfer or cellular services. Starlink now provides internet via small satellite dishes. Without the dishes, you can't have access to the service. 
but with some hard effort, Starlink dishes might ultimately condense into the shape of a chip or satellite antenna that could be utilized within a phone. And who knows, SpaceX may build its new phone using that technology built in. But what if I told you that a comparable concept had been around for a long time and can fit in your pocket? Iridium introduced the first portable satellite phone before the millennium over 22 years ago. But with Starlink's tens of thousands of satellites, being able to connect on the go would be fantastic for anybody on Earth. Furthermore, Google Cloud and SpaceX announced a new cooperation to offer data, cloud services, and apps to clients at the network edge, combining Starlink's capabilities to provide global high-speed broadband internet and Google Cloud's infrastructure. There's a lot of potential that we haven't seen many people discuss. So let us know what you think about and feel free to post some of your suggestions in the comments below. Thanks for watching.